everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Ajoa and I hope this video finds you well if today is your first time here please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers I say thank you so much and welcome back so I have some few fragrances um, I've been obsessing lately over you know they don't really like um, obsession but I've been gravitating towards them for the most part although in between I sort of you know change them I'm not really a weekly perfume tree or monthly perfume tree sort of person because I really can't commit to that idea. You know, I will just, I know I will find myself reaching out for something else if I even set up a tree for a month or for the week because my mood changes and whatever I want to wear also like depends on what I want to wear, where I'm going, you know, all those things determine what I will wear as a perfume. So I really... You know, appreciate those who are able to to do that. Personally, I can't. But these ones are the ones I've been gravitating towards lately. And the very first one I have here is Flower Bomb Midnight by Victor and Rolf. This fragrance is not like a favorite of mine. It's never been, you know. I got it and um, somehow immediately regretted not getting the Flower Bomb OG, which is the tea, bergamot, you know, patchouli um, bomb, which I much, much prefer, you know. But this one is equally not bad. It is like pomegranate, um, black currants with some um, vanilla, some mask, which is supposed to be like a, a nice, sensual, mysterious sort of um, deeper version. But I don't really find anything um, mysterious and dark and nighttime about this. To me, this is like daytime appropriate, you know, but it is not like a favorite of mine. I, I, I just put it down for a very long time. I've not reached for it for over a year, you know, and I guess recently got into it. I was like, you know what? I've neglected you for so long. Let me just get to you. And once I, you know, popped it up, I've been really enjoying it. You know, uh, anytime I put it on, I think for the last couple of weeks, which is about three, four weeks that I've been gravitating towards this, it's not been bad. You know, it's not been such a bad um, fragrance at all. Just that it is really not my favorite, but I've been enjoying it lately. The next one I've been pulling out frequently is Adin by uh, Pandora Scent which is obviously a deep of alien, the EDP. And this is one, you know, I've, I've really been used, utilizing this like a lot lately. I, I love the Saints profile. I love alien. I love like Mugless perf uh, perfumes. I have the EDT here. So most of the time I drench myself in this and then just spritz a few of this one to it so that I don't really um waste this you no know, it's not like wasting when you are using it you are feeling good smelling good so there is no waste but since i have the um pandora scent version i drench myself in this particular one you know and after which i guess spray a few of this one and then um i, I carry this one along i use this one mostly in the home just douse myself and carry this one along and you know just um top up whenever it's necessary so i've really been um, gravitating towards this one i love the sense profile that um jasmine indolic jasmine um woody ambry um combination it's such a sensual one i don't even use it in the evenings it's usually in the during the daytime that i i pull these ones out so it's one that i i i I'm sort of concentrating on and I'm finding new uses for, you know, and people also compliment me on this. So why not? I love it. This next one I have is equally one that I've sort of put at a, you know, background for quite a while. And this is Goldia, the Roman Knight Absolute by Bugari. It is sort of in the vein of the Flower Bomb Midnight. Um, but this one has some plum, like plum is like the um, most prominent note. It is a sweet, fruity, floral, very ladylike gentle scent it hasn't really performed that well you know that is one of my problems with this particular fragrance it doesn't really project that well um it doesn't give you the performance you know you need to like really 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 overspray this before it makes any impact and i think that is one of the reasons why i don't reach out for this particular fragrance but on days that i have you know started wearing it i really enjoy the scent it is feminine it is sweet it is sensual i will not say it is sexy you know but 
I don't even consider it as a nighttime fragrance. I use it during the day. It is sweet, feminine, girly. I love the plum. I love the um, patchouli, the um, the vanilla in it. You know, I think it has some jasmine too. You know, it is it's a, a very well blended, pretty girl scent. You know, and I lately that I've been pulling it out, I I have really been enjoying. It. So I guess hope it caught the streak continuous because if i decide to put it down you know without reaching out for it i'm sure it's it might take me some time or a very long time for me to pull it out because i think the performance is what sort of um, put me off about this one and also flower bomb midnight because of the performance and um a few other things i really did not or have not been grabbing them but lately i'm sort of making efforts to sort of wear them and i really really enjoy them this next one i've had for like a little over a month but it's it's been a love like i loved it since day one and have been grabbing it you know like ever since like this is supposed to be um uh in the same vein as um, Oud Al Layal, and this is Watani Intense Gold, like a very lovely bottle, very, you know, lovely sort of Middle Eastern vibes fragrance by uh, Al Watania. And it's been just like uh, a month since I've had this fragrance, and it looks like that is the only thing I've been wearing because it really is one that I pull out a lot, you know. It gives me compliments, it lasts like the whole day, it projects. I love the scent profile, honey, um, rose, ylang ylang, some florals. Um, it, it gives me that um, Oud Al Layal vibes, but this is like a refined, smoother, silkier sort of version, which I so much um, prefer over the Oud Al Layal. I consider this like the main um, fragrance, and then I'll just use like a Oud Al Layal as the backup bottle. So I, I hope not to run through this as fast though. So that is um, Watani Intense Gold by Al Watania. The next one I have here is by um, Fragrance World and this is Rodrigo's Rouge. This is one that I have really praised, you know, I have praised highly on this um, channel and rightly so. It's supposed to be obviously a dupe of Narciso Rodrigo's Rouge and the bottle, everything is like a telltale, so we'll just take it like that. But I really, really love it, you know. I really love this fragrance. It is um, a musky, rose, powdery, tart, sensual, ladylike, simple, not overpowering, not overwhelming, nothing to fill up a room, but it's really, really a sensual, musky fragrance and that is what i appreciate about this it doesn't really offend anyone a very likable scent and anytime like i wear this i i feel good in it i get a lot of compliments you know even when i feel like i don't smell it anymore someone just gives me a compliment you know it's like oh there's something you know it's not good you know what I, I think there was a day that the day was almost over i was returning home from you know some errands and I met a friend, he was like, you smell good. And I was a bit surprised because I thought the fragrance had worn off, you know, I had done with all my errands and I was virtually, you know, just on my way home. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then this one was, was, um, um, was smelled by someone else. So it's such a good one. It's a compliment getter, um, sensual, good for one-on-one -on -one intimate occasions, like even for office, for work. I will highly recommend this one. This next one is one that I have equally said positive things about, and this is um, Kismet Angel by um, Alhambra. This is obviously a dupe of um, Killian's Angel Share and a very good one as such. Like it gives you that cognac boozy um cinnamon vibes it has that um um a little bit of the apple pie vibes but not like overwhelmingly so it gives you that bit of um gourmandish um vibes it is a very good one and you know like it doesn't really have a good um projection and a good lasting power so you need to sort of over spray and that is what i sort of do when I have this fragrance on. It is one that I'm lately, you know, gravitating towards um, the more. I think for the past two weeks or so, I've been pulling it out or even layer 
layering uh, it with other fragrances for example i layered this one with um watani intense gold you know and they perform like excellently together i layered this um, kismet angel with um, watani intense gold and they are like good together so it is one that i am really really loving lately and the last two that i have here they are not fragrances i don't know like they are supposed to be um stress relievers um or um pillow spray something to calm you down when you you, you want to um sleep and this one is from um bath and body works and this is aromatherapy which is um, a natural essential oil you know it is eucalyptus and spearmint mates for this one and this is also a lavender calming um calming spray I don't really know if they really, really do the work. I'm trying them out, you know. They claim it is a calming spray. It is like good for sleep. It helps you to sleep. I don't know how well they, you know, that works out because for me, when, I, when I'm stretched and I can't sleep, it doesn't matter what I do, I can't sleep, you know. And on days that I get so tired, I guess lie down and I'm totally gone. I'm trying them out. I can't really say, oh, they have really, really worked some magic for me. But, you know, they claim it is. So I would rather, you know, I would sort of go with it, you know. But the scents are not bad at all. You know, I like um, eucalyptus, pear beans. I like them. I also love loving that. So whenever I spritz them on my pillow, it is not that bad. But as to really if they help me to sleep, I have no idea. But I think, you know, I'll, I'll just try them out more to see how... Um, how they do so that is all i have for you today and i hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers i say thank you so much please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up comment share your views every single thing just to help this channel to grow thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one stay, stay blessed bye bye